of Korea. The Korean nation wants peace, but the United States is making a challenge to it and persisting in its policy to stifle the Democratic People's Republic of Korea with nuclear weapons, thereby putting the Korean Peninsula under further aggravated nuclear war danger. The denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, a focus question in the world today, was in fact proposed and actively promoted by the DPRK. An official of the Korean Central News Agency says, now, the nuclear issue in Korea has become a worldwide question. It is not an issue that arose of late. The DPRK joined the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty in 1985, but failed to conclude the Safeguards Accord with the International Atomic Energy Agency because of the repeated nuclear threats of the U.S. The primary purpose of the affiliation in the NPT by the DPRK in December 1985 was to do away with the nuclear threats of the U.S. and solve her electric power issue with nuclear energy. But the DPRK's honest implementation of her obligations in the treaty was met by further increased nuclear threats of the U.S., endangering peace and security. If there had been full implementation of the DPRK-US agreed framework, a basic legal document for the settlement of nuclear issue signed by both sides in October 1994, the issue would have been settled squarely. Take a lesson from the Iraqi war. The belligerent Bush administration carried out in defiance of the United Nations and the world public. It shows the truth that one step concede will lead to ten, and honest compliance with the demand of the U.S. for disarmament through inspection will not prevent a war, but give rise to it instead. Witnessing the miserable reality of Iraq, the world public recognizes the justness of the firm stand of Korea that she should possess a nuclear weapon, and even something greater than that, if possible, to resist the intensified U.S. moves against her. The U.S. made public a preemptive nuclear attack on the DPRK as their policy in March 2002. It totally blockaded the way to denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. Government Statement of the DPRK 
It is the U.S. that disturbs peace and security on the Korean Peninsula and leads the situation to a dangerous state today. Since its advent, the Bush administration has designated us as part of an axis of evil. It proclaimed it as its state policy to deny our system and designated our country as a target of preemptive nuclear attack, which means an open declaration of a nuclear war against our country. The statement declared the automatic effectuation of the withdrawal of the DPRK from the NPT that had been temporarily suspended as long as necessary according to the DPRK-US joint statement of June 11, 1993. All the Korean army and people who had been patient aspiring after peace and happiness turned out in a resolute resistance for final settlement with the U.S. imperialists, their sworn enemy. Our country is a land of golden tapestry with beautiful mountains and clear rivers. I wonder why the U.S. so desperately attempts to bring nuclear clouds to this land and trample down the dignity and sovereignty of us the Sun's nation. If the U.S. triggers off a war on this land, our army and people will destroy the land of the U.S. and utterly eliminate the root of evil and war on this planet. The DPRK, too, has the right of choice and stick is not for the U.S. alone. Tougher to the tough and a gun to a rifle. That is the way Korea responds. The aggressors will never avoid death. The Korean People's Army has full capability to thwart what they call precision strike, strike in the manner of surgical operation and preemptive nuclear attack of the U.S. The Korean People's Army will return aerial strike with aerial strike and ground strategy with ground strategy. The Korean People's Army is a force of self-defense to safeguard the motherland and fellow countrymen, a symbol of great victory of the Army First policy and a reliable guarantee for peace on the Korean Peninsula. Korea is rallied rock firm behind leader Kim Jong-il and possessed of a strong defense power. If the U.S. sparks a nuclear war, Korea would deal a ruthless blow on the aggressors wherever they may be and round up the century-old showdown against the U.S. Yeah.